ask around about what people know about the nail man. Pardon me, but it seems like something happened at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Oh yeah, I saw the peacekeepers take away the culprit. Huh? You saw who it was? They apprehended a man wandering around the clock tower. He had a lot of weapons on him. Among them was a hammer, so he's the culprit for sure. After all, they say the nail man always carries a hammer and nails wherever he goes. He was wandering around the clock tower while carrying a hammer. That sure does sound suspicious. Okay. So a nail man is somebody who carries a hammer and nails. I wouldn't imagine a nail man would be something along the lines like this one guy from Big Hero 6 who um, had like these little like pallet things, right? It's across the street and talk to another person about the nail man. Um, there seems to have been some sort of incident at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Oh my, really? Such troubled times we live in. It's that man again, right? I've heard there were numerous cases. You mean the nail man? That's the one! There was a commotion not too long ago. Where did it happen again? Hmm, the museum or the art gallery? In any case, I'm glad he's been caught. I'd heard there were no clues at crime scenes because they all occurred in locked rooms with no way in or out. Phew, I'm so relieved. By the way, who are you? You've got some nerve talking to me as if you know me. Oh, sorry. Well, that's a little awkward. I get a little awkward when someone just randomly asks me who am I. Like, the who are you, the aggressive who are you is, is what gets me. Um, but if it's like a, a casual who are you, then yeah, it doesn't bother me as much. But I don't like the aggressive who are you. Excuse me, I heard that the criminal called the nail man was caught. Really? That's big news. I better tell everyone. So who is this nail man? What? You don't know? I'm sure you've at least heard about it. He's the mysterious nail man, Conai Ward's most famous urban legend. Urban legend? Sorry, I haven't heard of it. Well, you should count yourself lucky then. Have you ever felt the urge to kill someone while going through your day? The nail man can make that wish come true. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or so the legend goes. Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. stories says the one who's really excited about death but that's judging right it was until six months ago for the past six months corpses kept turning up covered in nails people were in an uproar talking about how the nail man is real now he's been caught what kind of person would want to copy the nail man he must have a screw loose or something Killer from an urban legend. How creepy. Look, Master! All the hairs on my body are standing on end! You're a ghost! How can you have hair? But you don't have any hair. I guess that's all the info you can extract from these snooty people. Still, I think I get the gist of it. These nailman cases are based off an urban legend. They started six months ago. A similar case happened at the clock tower today, but a suspect was apprehended. This reminds me of Genocide Jack. That's about it. 
there's nothing else for me to know. Wait, what about those cases? They all happen in locked rooms, right? I haven't seen any locked room mysteries yet! Give it to me! I want it now! I, I doubt we can see the scene of the crime. Let's just head back. Come on, just a peek. Let's check out the clock tower one last time. Just one look, okay? You're the best detective! The president of our company? No, of our nation! <sighs> Shinigami is really in on this. Alright. So... Gotta take a peek. Mm -hmm. Something's up. Yeah. Excuse me. What the... Are you okay? Can you stand up? Come on, let's go. Hey, wait! I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice! Huh? Uh... What do I do? You jumped in here without a plan? I couldn't help it. What were you thinking? You just doomed yourself! Well, You're under right. arrest by the peacekeepers. If you resist, enforcement measures will be taken against you. Listen, you have no right to remain silent. You have no right to a lawyer! Wait, please, listen to me! Put both hands on your head and get down! Any other action will be seen as resistance. A coin? Laura, a reckless sense of justice isn't even worth a single coin. This could have cost your life. Remember that. R right. Sorry. That's some impressive athleticism. Not like you, Master. Uh, um... Hey, are you okay? Please. My dad needs help. Please! Get my dad back from them! Please! Huh? Get your dad back? What do you mean? My dad was arrested by peacekeepers for what happened at the clock tower. They say he's the culprit. Wait, that's your dad? But he was here to repair the clock tower. He has nothing to do with what happened. So, your dad is innocent, but he's being framed as the mailman? My dad would never murder anyone. He has no reason to. So please, please, get my dad back from them. So you want us to prove your father's innocence? Is that an assignment? Assignment? Y yes I figured you could do it, since you took them down so easily. How much do you have ready? Huh? Y you mean... money? I don't work for Chi. I will fulfill a job no matter what it takes. I have the mind and strength to make it possible. However, if you want my help, you will need to prove your resolve. But I don't have any money. All, all I can offer is this. My dad and I played catch together all the time. It's my most prized possession. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, hey! Out of the question. Oh, Lara, wait! You're not going to accept his request? Why should I? The only way to decipher someone's mind is to see how many chips they put on the table. If they cannot offer a fitting amount of money to prove their resolve, to me, they might as well not even exist. Big talk for someone who's all about the money. That's crazy. What kind of demon would try to take money from a little kid? I'm a deaf god though, so I sure ain't one to talk. <laughs> oh, did he not offer enough? The ball itself may not be worth much, but the sentimental value it represents is priceless. If you think so, then you should take on the job. Huh? Me? Or perhaps you're going to make the assignment on that boy's behalf. I don't work for cheap. Uh, how much do you charge? Hmm. Preliminary estimates market at around 5 million shien. What? Shien? Is that currency? Uh, how much is that? It's enough to purchase a luxury car. A luxury car? That much? By the way, even though I'm amazing, I can't create human money out of thin air. Hmm. I'll be at the cafe nearby. Come see me once you've made up your mind. You will need my help eventually. And when you do, call on a detective named Halara Nightmare. Huh. So, what'll you do, Master? Well... I have to do this myself. What? You sure you can handle it? Though, I don't care, as long as I can scope out locked room mysteries. Hey, leave your dad to me. He'll be fine. I hope. He probably will be. Definitely, yeah. Wait, are you confident or not? Thank you! Please save my dad! Looks like my master made up his mind. Now, let's take a peek at the crime scene. With the peacekeepers gone, now's our chance to strike. Hey, wait. Before that... What is this? Wow! It's the Clock Tower murder report! This is a great find! Just as I thought. The details of the case are on here. Clock Tower murder case report. Crime scene. Clock Tower storage. Third floor. Victim. Female. Age 20s to 30s. Identity to be confirmed. Estimated time of death. Unknown. Time of discovery. Approximately 7 a.m. The body was found around 7 a.m. And it's a little past 8 a.m. right now. So it's only been an hour since the body was first found. No wonder things are so hectic. The body may even still be there. Another body. Anyway, Master, there's more to that report, right? First on scene. Clergy member and several peacekeepers. There was a report of a suspicious person behind the church. The victim was discovered during the investigation. The murderer is suspected of being related to the nail man killings. A suspicious part of the church? But the area behind the church is... All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the Nail Man, who will kill that person for you. Or well, so the legend goes. That's where the forest to summon the Nail Man is located. They pursued someone they thought was the Nail Man and found the body. The door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. As there are no other entrances, it seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the Nailman's modus operandi. There we go! Locked room mystery time! Yay! Mysterious! I don't know why you're so excited. 
Does the mailman turn his crime scenes into locked rooms like this every time? A phantom who vanishes like smoke in a room with no way in or out. Just the thought of it makes me drool. Suspect apprehended a suspicious individual near the clock tower. Suspect was found with multiple hammers believed to have been used in the crime. Name G.A. Colon, 48 years old. Occupation unknown. The suspect claims he was repairing the clock. No witnesses or alibis. Peacekeeper's current investigation suspects him to be the nail man. Communicate only the information found in this report to the media. The peacekeepers captured some dude and assumed he's the nail man. You gotta search the crime scene yourself to find the truth. Yeah, maybe you're right. You finally getting into it? Took you long enough to warm up. Now let's go. The scene of the crime is the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. Yeah, let's hurry. Before the peacekeepers wake up. You should go hide someplace safe. I'll be right back once I check inside. All right. Now off to the clock tower we go! Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode of Master Tech of Archives Rain Code. And next time we're going inside the clock tower to investigate the mystery of the nail man. Hopefully we can clear up this little kid's dad from unreasonable arrest. And let's hope that he's actually not the suspect here. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.